Let's wait for a bit here. What's up? Hello, everybody. Still making my coffee. Just had dinner. Now it's time for dessert. Why not make it on stream? Having kind of a resolution problems with the cam. Let's see if I can take the lenses a little bit dirty. All right. Um. Welcome to my kitchen. Uh, yeah, like I said, a dessert. It's like uh, a mini pie uh, with pear and caramel sauce and some crunchy nuts. And we need some stuff, obviously. I got some puff pastry over here. And of course the pears. And I make four little pies, so I need four pears. It's uh, a half a pear for each uh, for, for each pie. pie. Let's take this start soon thingy out of the way. All right. Um. Also some milk. That's to rub the pastry with a little bit, um, sugar for the pie, but also for the caramel sauce. Obviously, you need some caramel, uh, some sugar for caramel, some cream. It's going to be like a base for the sauce. Um, of course, the nuts. I got some walnuts and almonds over here. We're going to start off with the, with the nuts in a bit. And I also need an egg and some honey, which I forgot to grab. And this honey is quite firm, so I'm going to start off by putting a little bit in the oven. Because I need a more liquid styled honey. This is uh, flower honey, as we call it here in the Netherlands. Just gonna quickly put this in the oven for a bit, so it gets more liquid. It's quite firm. That's about enough. I got the oven set to 180 Celsius. That's for the for the pies in a bit. So it's heating up. I'm gonna start off with the eggs. Uh, I'm sorry, with the nuts. So I got this. I don't have a smaller one, unfortunately, but that's all right. Well, I do actually got a smaller bowl, but. I don't have it now because it's in the dishwasher. To make, make it a little, little bit crunchy, crunchy I'm, I'm going, going to use the egg white of the egg. egg. And I'm, I'm going, going to save the egg, egg yellow for later for the puff pastry. pastry. Save, save that, that in a separate, separate bowl. bowl. Mix, Mix up, up the egg, egg with the nuts. nuts. If you suffer from nut allergy, just leave the nuts out. Then some sugar.
right. Now, let's see what the honey is doing. It's getting a little bit more liquid. So while I wait for the honey, I'm going to start off by cutting one pear in half. Take out the core. You can, if you got like a really ripe pear, just use a, like a like a tablespoon or even better, a teaspoon to take out the, the core. This one is quite firm, so I gotta use a knife. I'm going to make four pies, so I need four pieces of puff pastry. One, two, three, four. Let's uh, put the rest quickly back into the fridge. Check on the honey again. Is more liquid. So what I'm going to do now is add that to the nuts. you just cut and put it on top. If you don't have this shape of uh, puff pastry, I know in some places they just sell the, the big slices, just cut them up until you got these little squares. So, uh, hold on, I gotta grab something real quick over here. So when you're going to cut it, cut it like one centimeter away from the pear and cut around it and follow the shape of the pear. One. Next step, cut out the outer circle. So 
So that's one. Next. And repeat the process. Two. Number three. Last but not least, coming up. That one up. Oh no. So that's it for the history for now. I'm gonna peel all the pairs. It's quiet tonight because on Saturday it's maybe not the most soothing day to do this because everybody's out away to family and friends and doing stuff. But I at least wanted to give it a try one time. So here we are. The other pair. Now, while I'm doing this, I'm going to quickly take a look at uh, the almonds and the walnuts that are in the oven. I just put it in, but it can go quite fast with nuts if you put that in the oven. What's up, Abba? What's up, what's up? How are you, do how are you doing, sir? How are you tonight? A chicken and a minion walk into a, into a barn. The rest is history. How are you doing, sir? Oh. Off cam, I'm mixing up my nuts a little bit. They're in the oven, Baba, with some honey and sugar to make it crunchy. 
just taking it easy today, but that's what weekends are for, right? So nothing, nothing special, special, no, no cooking, cooking, no fence, fence building. building. I, I saw, saw your, your, uh, your fences, fences on Instagram. All the minions made. That seems like a lot of work to do that. I'm making some uh, mini, mini pear, pear pies, pies today, today uh, Alba. Alba. With caramel sauce, which I'm going to make in a bit. First making the pies over here. And cutting off the, the, the bottom of the pear. The booty. Take away the booty. <coughs> so I'm going to put these pears aside for a bit. Now I cut them out, Alba. Alba. Just before you drop by over here, which you basically do, you put a, the, the half pear on a puff pastry, and then you cut it out like this. I'm gonna take my roller and the parts that weren't cut out over here. I'm gonna slightly roll them out a little bit. Maybe one by one, then I got more space. I was building a terrace Wednesday, Friday also. No plan, just Formula One weekend. Oh yeah, they got back to that, right? To the Formula One. After not uh, because of the Corona thing. I'm gonna make my cutting board a little bit wet so it doesn't stick there you go still, still sticks. sticks it, it always, always sticks, sticks. Well, I, I gotta, gotta redo, redo one, because I, I fucked this one up. up. But that's that's alright, then you can see what I did in the previous step. step. Um, yep. They're going crazy now, like three weekends on one weekend to have time with all the races. Oh yeah, because they kind of... Because uh, they didn't do like the first five races or so, right? Everybody, all the race Formula One fans in my country, they were all pissed off because after so many years, it, the Formula One get, got back to the Netherlands. But then Corona came, and now, yeah, nothing. Are they still going to do that, um, the race in the Netherlands, or is that off the off the chart? Is, is that not going to happen anymore? A little bit more into the camera. So, so I got, got some, some milk, milk over here. Now I need a little bowl. <coughs> it's a lot to talk, talk about races, no races, 100%. Honor off right now. They've done a calendar for up to 70 races, but maybe some edit or remove depending on the ground. I add it's. I think it's in every every sector, not just the raising. Everything. It really depends on how this whole thing develops. 
So I got the egg yellow. Pop it in. A little bit of milk. I'm going to put the pears on top of that. Squash it down a little bit. This one is way too small. I'm going to cut that little slice of this pear to make it smaller. Better. There you go. We've got a little snack. Some dark pears, Bob. Mm. Mm. Tested Test positive. positive. On what? what? I didn't I expect, expect these drivers would have needed doping. doping. Mm. I've had better pairs than this one. Mm. So. Then I got, I got the, the outer, outer layer. I'm gonna, gonna put, put that over, like that. What's up, Mercy? Echo? You got an echo? Hold on. Oh. He's doing the freaking microphone thingy again. There you go. Should be good now. Yeah, it's like when I add cameras on my overlay, it automatically picks the 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 microphone inside the camera. So when I'm using the headset like I am now, you can hear like you'll hear my voice twice. <laughs> Appreciate the heads up. And every time I'm using it, I keep forgetting it. Oh, they got tested positive for Corona. I was like, <laughs> when you say like um, tested positive, I immediately think about uh, <laughs> about doping, you know. So I'm going to gently rub in the outer rings of the puff pastry with milk. Well, I appreciate that guys. We want this quality to be good, you know. I keep forgetting it that the, the freaking camera have like a, a built-in microphone. Funny thing, if I plug it in into my Xbox when I do like a game stream, then the the microphone doesn't pop on automatically. I have to select it. But when I plug it into my laptop, like I'm doing right now, it does. I'm gonna a little bit of sugar over it. There you go. Don't need this anymore. This and this and that all can go. So what I'm going to do now Let's see what happens. Mercy is going for the chickens again. Uh, looking forward to making one too, cause they're freaking tasty. I know Mercy. 
And it's like I'm making it a little bit harder right now because I'm making the fancy styled one. But you can just also just take the puff pastry, wrap it in, wrap the pear in with it, and then what I thought would be nice. So I'm cutting these pears in the length. There you go. Oh, that sounds good, Abba. I know you love your bananas. You're a banana lover, mostly with bacon, right? <laughs> really like pear pie with cinnamon. I'm not using cinnamon on this one. I mean, I, I chose the caramel sauce. Which I'm gonna make while we put on put in the pears in the oven. Let's see. Crunchy nuts. No, not done yet. I'm gonna keep that in. So these are going to go into the oven at 100 cel 180 Celsius. I think that's roughly about 360 Fahrenheit if you're you're not using Celsius. And while we going to bake these pies, I'm going to make the caramel sauce. So in they go. And of course, when they're ready, you got to eat them. Well, they're still warm. I mean, that's the most delicious way to eat them. Click my, uh, clean my kitchen a little bit over here. So, if you never made caramel sauce, there are multiple ways. I'm gonna make it with some cream. So I got some thick, don't use the light one, but thick one. I got some thick cooking cream and obviously the sugar. This is 150 grams of sugar. I need two pans. I'm gonna use the, the small fire because you don't wanna go too fast with the caramel. Don't add everything at once, do it step by step. So first you do like a layer. There you go. <laughs> 150 grams is not much. I'm on a, only going to make a little bit of sauce. When uh, like at my previous job, Abba, I made like a big pan of caramel sauce worth of, I don't know how many days of caramel sauce. We used it for so many purposes. Um, now what you don't want to do if you're going to use the, the, the cream and add that to the sugar later, don't add it cold because the sugar, you know, you guys might know sugar, you can really get dirty burning wounds from 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 the sugar if it's really hot so it, what happens if you got like when this started to become you're gonna add the cold cream it goes like and it will go everywhere and you don't want that so what i always do is also heat up the the cream in a separate pan so the temperature difference on both is like smaller so you you won't be you won't have all the spatters and everything so be just be careful if you make caramel sauce so this is 250 milliliters uh, my lighter 
So I'm going to start heating that up too. Um, All right, Chef Mercy is now going to eat pre-made pancakes with pre-made jam from the pre-made market. All right, Mercy. <laughs> hey, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's uh, it's not good. You know, you got some pre-made foods are pretty nice. You're really bad at cooking. Then don't leave, Mercy. I'm here to teach you. And I'm not doing all the difficult, fancy stuff. Most of the times, I'm just making stuff that everybody can do it, but you just need to know how to do it and what to use. I think most part of the cooking is just knowing what ingredients you have to use, but also um, which flavor work together well and which don't. So, I'm going to check the nuts. But Mercy, I wish you uh, a good meal. And maybe I'll see you tonight. I don't know. Not going to play Battlefield though. I'm taking a break from that now. I'm kind of hooked on to PUBG at the moment. Sorry for all the noise. I'm in front of my oven. I wish I could show you, but that means I have to move the camera and then everybody gets motion sick you'll you guys just have to wait for the until it's finished now patience here is the key with the sugar uh, i'm always so lazy about going to the market for getting ingredients so you don't even get go to the supermarket to buy it But weren't you telling the other day in uh, Peter and Mrs. A's stream that you were that you were eating the banana and bacon, Oba? All right, Mercy. Oh, before you go, Mercy, are you con still considering getting that game? I mean. I, I noticed while I was playing today that if you don't have a mic, they still have like features where you can still sort of communicate with your teammates. Like in Apex, basically. Well, not that, not that variated as in Apex. I mean, in Apex, they got a really good system for people that are not using mics. But in PUBG, they, they also have like tiny stuff. You're not going to do it again? Oh, I thought it was like something you did on a regular base. So I'm going to add the rest now. You guys can't see it, but on the side, on the left side of the view, I got all my dirty stuff. <laughs> it's like a mess right now. My other laptop just went off. There you go. We need that, you know. Um, let's see. Because that's... I'm running the program from, from my other laptop. And the one where you see the face cam, that's the other laptop. I'm using that for the cameras. So it's starting to car car caramelize. Damn, that's a hard word for me. I'm gonna help it out a little bit. Uh, 
uh, try out a lot, but don't make stuff more than once. It wasn't bad, but can make a lot better stuff than that. I remember when you told it in chat, I was like, banana and bacon? How can that be successful? But I guess it wasn't that successful after all. <laughs> Oh, if you really love banana, you got to try all kinds of stuff, right? So now we have to wait a little bit. I wish this camera would focus a little bit more. Mortama, what's up? Are you going to do the heist? What's up, sir? I'll join you with that heist. Did some battlefield lately, Mortama? Haven't spoken to Martin in a while, by the way. Oh well, well, I did spoke to him, but not like he he hasn't been playing a lot lately, Martin. While well, I wait, I'm just gonna make a, a coffee for myself. Waiting for this caramel over here. Let's go. You don't even have 5,000 chickens, Oba? Oh, I'm out of beans. Hold on. Sorry for all the noise, but that's how it goes in the kitchen, guys. Let's go one more time. I gotta fill, fill up the compartment for the coffee beans. Let's see. Only I got out? Damn, that's tough. So nearly all the sugar is caramelized right now. Still got some chunks, but it's getting there. And you gotta like really pay attention to the caramel, because if you let it on the fire too long, it, the the sugar will burn and then it gets really bitter. And that's trust me, that taste is horrible. You don't want your caramel sauce to be like that. Look like I lost a lot of them, but not have been here for much for less past month. Let's see, how many do you have? Do exclamation mark chicken. Oh wait, I can actually check the um, currency. Um, Oh man, I got so many people. Let's see. No, I'm already in 20k. No, I can't find you. Uh, let's see, you're a little chicken. 1620. Also cooking. You was on the other day with Martin. Then he just ditched me. He doesn't want to be my friend anymore. <laughs> and how are the streams going, Mortama? Do you still do that? Here, Oba, you can have some of my chickens. I'll give you some of mine. Like 10k or so. There you go. Oh. oh. So, I got the caramel. Now this pen is like a gray pen, so it might seem like it's black, but it's like caramel color, like brown. Now I'm gonna gently add the cream to it. Gently. Don't pour it in all at once. Take off this fire. See what happens? So if you're gonna add 
either the cold cream or all at once, your pan will explode. And now you can't see anything because of the heat. <laughs> it does indicate how hot this shit is. A <laughs> lot of steam. Yeah, that's the only downside of using the top camera. If something gets hot, then, then it will get all the steam into the camera. But it's a good way of showing how hot sugar can be. Now, because of the difference in temperature, even though I boiled the cream, What's up, Tank? Even though I boiled the cream, there's a lot of difference between the temperature of the cream and the sugar. Sugar can get like crazy hot. So still I get like these chunks. You guys can't see it, but I still got like chunks of sugar because the sugar cools down and then it starts to like, get compact again. So I'm just gonna put it back on the fire. Uh, lighter. Tankbuster, are you ready for some more PUBG tonight? And there you have it. World's most easiest caramel sauce. Everybody can do it. Uh, let's see, Mortama. Uh, it was a couple of days ago where I did the last stream. You're gonna do the stream after you're gonna eat. What's for what's for dinner, Ortama? Oh you gaat weg. Oh no, thank Buster. I'll just play with your friends. We played this afternoon with. Alright, back to the nuts. They should be good right now. Yep. Mmm, smells so good. What are you gonna do, Tank? Tonight. Can you do that with Stevia if you don't use sugar? I don't know, actually. Good question. I don't know if... It, I don't think it has the same properties as sugar. Um, so I guess the answer would be no. Because stevia, that's, that's like a plant. Let these nuts cool down. I have to look that up. I don't know. It's a good question. Uh, good question. But I never heard somebody say that you could make caramel out of uh, stevia. Ow! A little bit of caramel on my finger. That's hot. Uh, My mic disconnected quite far away from my Xbox. Believe it or not, I'm running the stream through Xbox. You're a chef. Hey, that's such a bad argument, Abba. The world of cooking is infinite. Even if you live a hundred years, you won't be able to learn everything. It's impossible. If you go to Italy, in one village they do a dish and in the next village they make the same dish but in a different way. Plus I never work with stevia so 
But I would say no, it's not possible. You really need sugar to make caramel. But I might be wrong. And for what it's worth, Abba, I'm an ex-chef. So the caramel is good. Take that off the fire because we need that to cool down. We don't want to burn our tongues right now. Nuts still frozen? No, I think they're not. Okay, so now we have to wait until the pear is finished. They're getting there. Think about a couple of more minutes. I might have made the caramel sauce a little bit too quick because now we got to wait. I had it all figured out and still I'm too fast. Uh, X, you're not going to keep on shaving. You're working, looking for work with other stuff. Yes, you got that completely right. I did uh, the kitchen work for 13 years, Obbe. And I reached a point in my life where all the downsides to that occupation, to that job, which were always fine by me, but I'm at the point in my life where they're not fine. I just want to be home in the evening, watch TV with my girlfriend, or go to birthdays, or celebrate Christmas, or, you know, just have a more regular life. Because you gotta give up a lot of stuff if you're working as a chef. Your social life basically goes out of the window. For example, take Christmas. So over here in our country, we have two Christmas days. First Christmas day and second. And for me, I always had to work one of those. So you would say, okay, so you got, you got one day, one Christmas day. But then, because I only had one Christmas day, I ended up going to six different places because everybody wants to see me. Like my grandpa, my grandma, my parents, my girlfriend's parents. So you have to do everything in one day. And you go like to six different houses and it at the end of the day you you basically felt like a working day because you were busy like getting everywhere and nowhere you know so it didn't feel like a holiday so at, at the end of christmas you still feel like you didn't celebrate christmas you know also that uh, uh also that like, I, I wish I can find a job where that still involves food, maybe like a lunchroom or something, but like regular times, just eight hour work day, maybe nine, but not like where you start at 10 in the morning and you finish at 11 in the evening and four days like that in the week. It's just, it was fine for a long time, but now, no. And not that my girlfriend and I are thinking about children right now. We want to, but I don't want to have a kid and work as a chef at the same time. What's up, Martin? I know you're always working, but you got like a very important profession, Martin. Also, Tankbuster, he is like in the health sector, like mental health, right? Tank. So that's also a profession where you have to work on the special days. By the way, Martin, your friend Mortama is here. Mortama, we were just talking about you, Martin. That I haven't played games with you in a while. Uh, but then you put all in to one house. Here we are. 10 to 14 people on XMAX. Oh, nice. It really depends on how big your family is, really. 
You gotta go. All right, Tank, go uh, get that walk with the lady. Don't uh, do stuff you will regret or stuff that I wouldn't do. Be 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 a gentleman. And who knows? She might ask you home, Tank. <laughs> Uh, he was just now. Maybe, he, maybe he went off to do something. But he was here, like five minutes ago. Oh, you don't work on those days. Oh, look, I got some. You don't know why? Maybe, Martin. Like, besides Formula One. Do you play other games than Battlefield? Because I'm taking a break from Battlefield right now. Playing PUBG and some uh, City Skylines. And if it's occasionally Red Dead, but normally the servers don't work. So that's also a no-go nowadays. But... Uh, I'm taking a break because if I would continue playing Battlefield every day, all day, then I would never want to play it again because I played it too much. So if I take like a break after a week or so, my my fingers starting to itch again to play it again. You know, that's how I keep up with playing that game for so long. You don't play anything else? Ooh, the beer pies. Right, they're not quite finished yet. Almost. Just gonna put a little bit more sugar on top. Put them back for five more minutes. And then it's time to serve. Put them back. Now where's my coffee? Coffee hype? Where did I put my coffee, guys? Lol, I forgot. I still have to press the button. Uh, you got a busy day today. What have you been up to, Martin? So we have to wait five more minutes and then the pies are ready. And then we'll decorate the plate. And then comes in the money shot where I eat the shit in front of your faces. So if you don't like that shit, now's the time to leave the stream. But we call it the money shot. It's usually the moment where most people drop by. They're not interested in how to make it. They just want to see the results. <laughs> They're like vultures. So I got these lovely, lovely plates over here. Are you doing a lot of work on study? Well, you're not going to... Work tomorrow, I guess, with the Formula One, Martin. Can you send me some food? It depends, Martin. It depends. Are you going to be nice to me? Are you uh, going to be uh, aardig to me? <laughs> mm. Right, coffee. So I got my coffee ready for for the pies. You're gonna watch Formula One. So which which uh, which race are they at right now? Which country? What's up, Duck? Duck Let's get some shouties in while we wait for this pie. So we got Dr. Ooh, yeah. Apex Legend. And we got Mortama. 
with our Madame True Martin on the battlefield. Spa. Oh ja, daar ben ik geweest. Dat is de enige waar ik geweest ben. Spa. I don't have the shoutouts uh, in this overlay. Hmm. Oh, there's like a delay. All right, all right, all right, all right. There you go. I keep telling you, Doc, I really love that that emblem. Did you make that yourself? Isn't that that uh, Spa Francochamps? Is that is that like? On average, the most popular race uh, among the drivers, but also among the fans. One of the best tracks in the season. So what's, what's your favorite track then, Martin and Mortama? What, what, what? Yeah, the, the, um, your profile image, Doc. Doc, oh yeah. Obviously, it's Max Verstappen for Martin. You di you did make it yourself. Nice, bro. You're a creative guy. And here am I thinking that my chickens are awesome. Look at your emblem. Fuck. I might have to hire you to design new chickens. Right now, we got the chef chicken going on. All right, I'm gonna check the puff pastry. Oh, lovely. All right, it's time, guys. So I'm gonna grab a chair. So this was quite a fast one. From scratch, one hour to prepare and bake. Maybe less, because I've done some talking in between. So this takes you about an hour to create. It's a beta, a beta for right now. I think it already looks good, uh, Doc. Wait, let's see it one more time. Get a closer look. And considering the fact that you made it yourself, I just want to say that I love creative people. I just love creative people. Why is there such a delay though in the overlay? I think it's just a stream delay. Yes, there it is. It got like stitched mouth and eyes. I love it. I love it, Doug. All right. Um, if you suffer from motion sickness, I'm going to move the camera to get the money shut. So, oh, before I do that, let's take out the pies. Turn the oven off. There you go. Um, no, I'm not uh, Martin. First of all, I ga gotta go to my grandmother tomorrow, and also if I I'm, I'm I don't watch it, you know. I I used to do that when I was still a teenager. I was kind of a fan, but eventually that passed. Wait, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't like it that much anymore. I don't know why I stopped watching it. So I'm gonna make two plates. One for me. One for my girlfriend. A little bit of caramel on the plate. There you go. Yeah. 
and of course the crunchy nuts. This season is full of new tracks, should be interesting. Oh, I know why I stopped watching. When I still watched it, you still had uh, Michael Schumacher, Schumacher, and it wasn't it wasn't exciting anymore because he won everything. So, put some on the side, some crunchy almonds and some crunchy walnuts. Dude, it's so messy in my kitchen. Oh. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna move the camera, guys. If you suffer from motion sickness, please look away. It's gonna be a little bit messy now. I really wish this camera would focus a little bit. So we got the, the pears in puff pastry with the caramel sauce and the crunchy nuts. And you gotta eat this while it's still warm guys. You, you gotta eat this while it's still warm. Moving around again a little bit, the camera. I'm sorry, guys. There you go. <coughs> Take this away. So I got a second batch. I'm gonna eat that tomorrow or something. I'm gonna quickly give one to my girlfriend. I bet she wants it. Appreciate that, Martin. Thank you, Mortama. Lisanna? Oh, she disappeared. I don't know where she went. All of a sudden, she's gone. She disappeared. Nowhere to be found. She left me, guys. She left me. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Okay, I can take away some of the stuff, like... Mm, let's take away the face cam. Oh, no, wrong camera. Ingredients can go. There, that's better. You can barely make toast without burning it. <laughs> well, that's what I'm here for, man. I'm here to make your life better. Ah, right. Mm. And this is like, like I said, it's 60 minutes work. Ah, oh, Rainbow, what's up? Rainbow, I hopped into your stream right at the moment when you went offline. I was like, no, Rainbow. I lurked for a bit, and when I was ready to talk a little bit to you, then it was end of, of the stream. Hold on, guys, I gotta move this camera around. Because you gotta see my face when I'm stuffing it. How are you doing, Rainbow? You did a quick... Yeah, I noticed. Because I remember that the time between... Um, the time between I got the message, like the notification, like Rainbow is now live. And the time that you went offline was really... Was narrow, was a narrow window. So you did, you did like a short stream today. 
<laughs> Here comes the worst part. Yeah. I made a little pear pies rainbow with caramel sauce. I think this whole stream was mostly to to show uh, how to make caramel sauce, basically. And here we are. We got some crunchy caramelized walnuts and almonds as well. Let's try it. Mm. Next time I'm going to make this, I'm going to get different pairs because these are not that excellent. Hello, by the way. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, the caramel sauce is really good, guys. That that cream we've added really works well with it. Mm. Mm. Ooh. It is freaking hot, though. So how did it go, Rainbow? I saw you played some Siege again. Mm. These nuts. Mm. Mm. I need a camera man, Rainbow. Can I hire you as camera woman? You come work for me as camera woman and then you can just eat everything. I'll do the baking, you do the camera work, and afterwards we're going to eat that. Mm. Yeah, I'll pay you in food, Rainbow. I'll pay you in food. <laughs> that's your that's your paycheck. <laughs> Any other plans for tonight? Mm. These nuts. Yeah. I did it with like um with egg white, honey and sugar. Put that in the oven. And of course the the the, the sugar caramelize. But the egg white makes it a little bit crunchy, the nuts. Gives like gives it like a crunchy jacket, you know? Mm. Hang out with Cass. Nice, nice. What's that emote? Stonks? Mm. Yum, 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 yum. So it was pretty fast, this one. Let's see, what's the stream time? One hour and 12 minutes. We did some talking in between. So not a lot of work, this. You can make this pretty fast, including the bake time. Because I put it in the oven like 20 minutes, the, the pies. Can you hear it crunch when I'm eating it? Might not, the mic might not pick it up. Mm. Especially the almonds. I love almonds. Mm. I love any kind of nuts. Get it? <laughs> mm. So what shall I do for the next cooking stream? Does anybody have an idea? Or a suggestion? Dude, I think I'm gonna eat the other one as well. Haggis? God damn it, Mortama! Didn't you say that the other time too? <laughs> Haggis. Ugh. You Scottish people sure have weird stuff, man. I tr I ate Haggis three times in my life. 
First one was to try it out, obviously. Didn't like it at all. Then the second time I tried it again, because I thought, oh, maybe whoever pre prepared the first one didn't, good, didn't do a good job, or I just didn't like the way it was prepared. So I tried it another one, uh, another time. Didn't work out either. And then the third time was kind of a forced one. There was nothing else. Hmm. Deep fried pizza. I can prepare that. Hmm. And by the way, I already did like a Scottish dish a couple of episodes ago. It was... Um, Suggested by a, a fellow country, I wanted to say men, but it's a lady. She uh, suggested cockaliki soup. I think from all the suggestions, I'm sorry, eating with my mouth full. Mm. From all the suggestions people have come up, when um, Tapia. She came up with the cockaliki soup, which is a chicken soup with leek and rice and, and, and prunes or plums. That that was the best suggestion, and that was one of the best thing I ate in my life. KRD0429. Let's go. Appreciate the follow, man. Welcome to the chicken farm. I'm glad you like seeing me stuffing my face with this pie. <laughs> Baton Smurfje! Hoe is het nou, joh? Zeker lang geleden. Baton Smurf. Was lekker. Mm. Leon? Je bedoelt uh, NL Killer? Ik ken namelijk. Oh nee, dat is niet. Dat is Staal Smurf. Why yo? Beton smurf en staal smurf. Ken je toevallig iemand die staal smurf heet? <laughs> How are you doing, uh, KRD? Hope you're doing good. Having a great weekend. Mm. Look, where's my caramel sauce? Where did I put it? I got so much left, you know. Look at that shit. World's easiest caramel sauce. Anybody can do it. You just have to get... You gotta have patience. You gotta have patience. And you gotta pay attention to it. And then everybody can do this. You can put it to your yogurt. On your sandwich. Whatever you like. You can't gain... Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> en hoe kom je dan op betonsmurf? Shit. <laughs> Deep fried ice cream. I know Mortama. That's like... I think... I gotta be careful here right now. Because I, I made it myself. The cockalik soup. So saying that it was the best thing I ever ate. You know, it's kind of cocky but because i never heard of it and i made it for the first time i did have to follow a, a sort of a recipe I, I did give it my own twist eventually but i used the rice and the chicken and uh, and the plums is it plums or prunes now prunes it's when it's fresh plums is when they're dried i think god damn it this english english language but so i put the those those Stuff that should be in there. I put it in. Like the leak and stuff. Did gave it my own. But I think. It's one of the best things. I ever ate in my life. And actually after that stream. When I did the cockaliki soup. I already prepared it like. Five other times. Just off stream. But for family. Or just random. Because I felt like eating it again. I'm really happy that I was introduced. With, uh, with the cockaliki soup. Damn I talk a lot with my hands. <laughs> Uh, Leon, Leon, heb je nog PUBG of niet? Ik 
ik zit de laatste tijd veel met uh, Bram en uh, wat andere PUBG te spelen. Dan gaan we een keertje meedoen. Uh, zes jaar geleden gemaakt en een bijraam van me toen mijn pa reed beton. Ah, ik snap hem, ik snap hem. I see, I see, I see. Hmm. Shall I eat the other one too? Shall I? I'm gonna eat the other one too. It's just too delicious. Gezellig, gezellig. Ik speel nog wel steeds Battlefield hoor, maar wat vaker... Uh... Wat vaker andere spelletjes ook. Dus ik deed hetzelfde te spelen. En PUBG is daar één van. Hmm. Some nuts. Walnuts and almonds. There you go. For those who missed it. Mini pear pie with caramel sauce. And crunchy nuts. I like to say nuts. Mm. You do anything to the nuts. Yes, I put them uh, in the oven. With uh, sugar, honey, and egg white. The egg white to make it crunchy, and the honey and the sugar to, to give it the color, but also the sweetness. Nice, uh, Leon. Nice, nice. Staat op tafel, schat. Ik was je kwijt en ik denk hier eten. Toen was je weg. Mm. Beton smurf. Dankjewel Leon voor het volgen. Welkom terug bij de chicken farm. Welcome back to the chicken farm, Leon. I shouldn't be saying welcome to the chicken farm, because you were also following on uh, on Mixer, so I say welcome back to the chicken farm. Mm. Only thing I like to add to this, make sh if you're gonna make this, make sure you have like really soft, ripe, juicy pears. Because this one, it's like the quality, eh, so it's it's not. It's not what you expect. It's still a little bit hard. You have to cook it longer. But if you do that, then the puff pastry will obviously be in the oven too long. So then it will burn. So find yourself some good pears. Like um, we call it uh, Gieser Wildeman. Get the good pears. Overall, well. No, it's not a cheap dish because nuts are expensive. Puff, puff pastry is expensive. But if you're going to do it, make sure you get the good pairs. And if it costs you a little bit more, then you got you got, really got to get them because this it could have been better. Let's let's just put it that way. Everything is good, but the pairs make it less good. You know. Hmm. Niet probleem. I was flying away, but I came back. I appreciate you came back, Leon. Mm. Uh, any other suggestions, uh, Mortama, besides haggis? <laughs> haggis. Isn't that like a lot of work? That's so much work, I think. I don't even think I can buy the, like the... The organs and stuff for it. Hmm. 
Well, I probably will be able to buy it or, or find it, but I have to go to like a special butcher or something. Because us Dutch people, we don't eat that shit, you know? Hmm. I like to dip the pear through the sauce, huh? Oh. So, mm -mm -mm. I'm uh, going to clean up here, and then I'm um, going to move all my equipment back. Hello, camera. going to put my equipment back to the living room. And then I'm um, gonna play some games, PUBG. I'll uh, pop on the stream, so I'll, I'll be back in like an hour, maybe a little bit longer, hour to hour and a half. I'll be back playing some games, something completely different than this, obviously. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I would love to see somebody recreate this dish and send me some pictures of it. That would be awesome. This happened sometimes in the past with the cooking streams, like people use the stream and the recipe to make it themselves. For example, um, Cop God, one of my regular fo uh, followers and viewers, he he made the, the brownie I did on stream, um, sent me the pictures and that just, that makes it complete for me, you know? Obviously, if you don't want to, or you're not a great cook, or you, you don't like cooking, you can just stick with watching me stuffing my mouth, which is also perfectly fine. Um, let's see. Who's, uh, who can we, ah, I see. Neptune, Iron Neptune is online. I don't know if uh, Dr. Ooh, yeah, is still here, but, um, Neptune is playing Apex. I know Duck. Ooh, yeah. Lost that shit. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Thanks for the follows. Thanks for the conversations, the ideas, the feedback, the compliments. Um, I'm going to clean up. And maybe I'll see you guys in a bit on the game stream. If not, have a great weekend. Have a great Saturday. Have a great Sunday. Take care and much love from the Netherlands, guys. And I'll see you next time. Later, Mortama. Later, Leon. Appreciate you guys. Uh, Mortama, good luck in a bit with the stream. Good luck, good luck. We're going to rate Iron Neptune. Um, if the... I can't... Oh, there you go. Iron Neptune 208. Show the guys some love. And I'll see you guys in the next foodie stream. Let's go. Come on, rate already. Yes. Three, four, four, five, six. I love the rating system on Twitch. I love it. Six viewers. All right, guys. Later, Alba. Thanks for hanging out, man. Peace.
Bak, bak.